Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the original RB2140 Wayfair sunglasses. So sunglasses were originally first produced by BL Ray-Ban all the way back in 1956 is when they first came to the market. These sunglass frames were extremely popular in the late 50s and the early 60s, all the way to the 70s, and then they really dropped off in popularity all the way to around the 1990s. And in the 1990s, BL Ray-Ban had tons of issues in end up selling to Exotica in the early 2000s. And one of the reasons why they're really struggling in the 90s is because people really just didn't like the Wayfair style. Back in the 90s, very thin and small sunglasses were what was trendy and Ray-Ban really didn't have anything to compete with that market. So back in the early 2000s when Luxottica bought Ray-Ban, they actually stopped production of the Wayfarers and a couple of their other classic sunglasses until they realized that the Wayfarers were actually selling for a ton of money on popular auction websites and they decided to bring back the original classic Ray-Ban Wayfarer in the year of 2000 and that's when they brought back the sunglasses which are basically the original Wayfarers that we've had through the past 50 plus years and that's what they're going to look like right here. These are the original Luxottica Ray-Ban Wayfarers. The size I have on right now are the standard size of the Ray-Ban original Wayfair. They're going to have 55mm lenses and a 22mm bridge and again this is the standard size so it's going to be the medium size. Ray-Ban does produce a smaller and a larger version of the sunglasses and if you want to check that out I will have a link in the description down below where you guys can check out my size comparison. I'm also going to have a information card somewhere in the top corner where you guys can click on that and check out my full size comparison of the sunglasses. But the original Ray-Ban Wayfair are going to be made in Italy. They're going to sit here in the inner right temple. They're going to say Wayfair handmade in Italy. And if they're polarized, they're going to have a polarized logo after that. The sunglasses are also going to feature Ray-Ban's traditional and classic Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses. And if they're polarized, they're going to have a P after that. They're also going to have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens. And that's going to be there for authentication purposes. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Wayfair style pair of sunglasses if it's and have those iconic metal accents in the top corners of the sunglasses. And as you guys can see, those two iconic metal accents which really just pull in the design and really make them stand out. The sunglasses are also going to have a raised Ray-Ban logo here in the temples of the sunglasses. And it's going to be both on the right and the left temples. And that's going to again be there for authentication purposes and also for styling. As far as weight goes, these sunglasses are definitely not going to be the lightest pair ever. They're built out of a very heavy acetate, but they're definitely a very solid pair that does feel very premium. Of course, they're going to have very nice all metal hinges, which feel really good when opening up and when closing them. And they're just going to be very nice and they're going to hold up very well over time. Another styling element of the original Ray-Ban Wavers is going to be its very angular lenses and they're going to kind of tilt into the face here as you guys can see that's actually going to help give you a little bit better coverage from sun so as far as coverage from sun goes there's going to be pretty good coverage up top so it's sunlight in unprotected it's not going to let too much in and then here on the sides again there's not going to be a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected they're definitely going to be a very practical pair of sunglasses back about six years ago before i really got into sunglasses the thing that i didn't like about the original ray-ban wafers is that they curve so much into the face i thought it was weird and i thought it didn't really look very modern. It definitely looked very dated in my opinion. Again, this was about six years ago, but since then I've really grown to appreciate the Wayfair style and really the classic design elements in it. But for those of you who still feel the way that I did, Ray-Ban actually did make a Wayfair Ease, and these are going to be the RB 4340s and these sunglasses are going to be a traditional Wayfair style but they're going to sit very flat on the face so as you guys can see here they're not going to offer quite as good coverage because they're going to sit flat here on the face but they definitely look a little bit more modern but they still hold all the traditional Ray-Ban Wayfair styling elements except for that inner curve. And I did do a full review of these Ray-Ban Wayfair Eases, so if you guys want to check that out, I will have a link in the information card. But back here to the original, you really can't go wrong with these original styling elements, and I really do like the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. They're going to cost you about $150 on Ray-Ban's website, but you can usually pick them up cheaper on Amazon by around $20 cheaper. So I will have a link in the description below where you guys can check out an original Ray-Ban Wayfair, the exact one that I'm wearing right now in the description down below. Overall, I do love the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. And they're definitely going to be one of the top five Ray-Ban sunglasses that everybody needs to own if they fit your face shape well. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.